morning. I am just, just waiting for my lovely guest to arrive. If she doesn't come, we might just carry on just in case. Never know, there might be a problem. Hello, anyone joining me on Facebook? Apparently we've had issues with the sound. I'm hoping that's corrected it. You'll have to let me know. If not, I don't know what it could be. Yeah, Instagram, you're fine. It's Facebook. But I'm just waiting for my friend to join. I can't see her. Okay, I'm going to get started, guys. Otherwise, we could be here all morning. No, still weird noise. Okay, I don't know what I can do, I'm afraid. Sorry, guys. Still white noise. I've got it silent here, so I don't think... I don't know what else it could be. Here we go. I think she's here. Right. Good morning. Hopefully, we should have our lovely guest coming on to play with me this morning. Some of you may recognise her because I got a fab video from her the other day. Just waiting. Just see if she can join in. And we're all going to give her a warm welcome. Hello. Hello. Hello, Elsie. Hello. Elsie. You're going to say good morning to her. Hello. Hello. And hello to Mummy, too. Uh, <laughs> Elsie, thank you very much for coming to play with me today. Have you gone really shy? You're going to shy. I saw, Elsie, I saw a wonderful video of you eating crumpets. Do you like crumpets? Okay. You do, don't okay. you? Yeah, my little boy watched that video ten times over. He thought it was brilliant. So thank you very much. I think you were teaching your cousins how to make... I can't remember what we were making now. What were we making, Mummy? Can you remember? Was it Elsie? Chocolate, was there? Funky hair. The funky haircuts, that's right. And you were you were so good. It was fantastic. So are you ready to play with me today, Elsie? Yeah, well you're so brave. Thank you for coming. And we've got loads of lo loads of other boys and girls that are gonna play too. Shall I show you what we need and then you can make sure oh, you can watching? Lots of your friends are saying hi, aren't they? Oh really? Have you got friends yeah. there as well? Hello mummy. Sorry mummy. What was your name, Mummy? Oh, I'm Sam. Sam. Thank you, Sam. And thank you for letting Elsie come on with me. It's very exciting. Very well done. So today, to do our play along, you're going to need some, a piece of card or cardboard. I've got a lovely purple colour. What have you got, Elsie? Wait, would you like a different colour? How would you like? The same as Claire. Let me see if I've got <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Sam. I set you up there, haven't I? Elsie, I can see you've got a lovely white piece of paper. That's absolutely fine. We could use white. No problem. And then you're going to need a pen. Do you have a pen, Elsie? You've got lots of pens. What's your favourite colour, Elsie? Pink. Pink. Oh, beautiful. I've got a nice purple today. Well done. Everyone watching on Facebook, we also have a special guest on Instagram as well with us, if you're wondering. Oh, and now you've got some pink card. Well done. And then Elsie, Elsie, do you have a pair of scissors? You do? Oh, very good. Well done. You're ready, aren't you? And then finally, we need some pegs. Have you got some pegs that you can use? Oh, good girl. Well done. Should we start doing our wraps? Can you give it a squeeze? That's it. And we really like using pegs because pegs are really great for strengthening our pinch grip. You know when we do our, our ducks or our crocodiles? Remember when we do that? These are really good. As, as long as our pegs aren't too stiff for little ones to squeeze, they're really good for all our fine motor skills. And we can use pegs for doing loads of different activities. We're going to use them today for doing some counting, but you can use them to also use as tweezers and pick things up. Good girl. That's a nice wave. And we're stretching our hands, aren't we? Are you stretching your hands ready? Should we do some stretches like Elsie? Elsie is stretching her hands because we're going to need them today. That's it. Really small and then really big. 
Hand that away. Good girl. Good girl. Well done, everybody. Okay. Right then. Well done, Elsie. That's a really lovely wave to all the boys and girls. Could you take your piece of card and your scissors? And what we're going to do is we're going to have a go at cutting our card. I'm going to show you first. And then you guys can all copy, okay? So using our scissors and our piece of card, I'm going to show you first. It's my go first, and then you have a go. And what you're going to do is we're going to cut up, 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 and make a nice big strip. So it can be any size like that. So we're going to cut our paper or our card into lots of big strips. Mine looks a bit like a snake or a worm, or a, oh, it's like a tall pencil. So have a good go. Sam, we've got somebody asking, how old is Elsie, if you don't mind us asking? Oh, you? Three. You're oh, three, good girl, Elsie. And you're using your scissors really well. She's nice, taking our time, aren't we? Nice and slowly. Well done, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. And we're going to keep going. We're going to cut up all of our card until we've got lots, lots of strips. strips. Lots of strips. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 And Sam, I hope you have a cup of tea nearby. <laughs> Are you managing? Oh, <laughs> well done. I can't Google your own about tea. <laughs> I know. I forgot this one. I was in a rush. I grabbed the water. I'll make mine after. There we go, well done. And we all saw I had Mason on the other day doing a live with me with scissors and that was stressful. So thank you very much, Sam. I really appreciate you tuning in okay. today with me. Elsie wondered if Mason would be there, didn't he, this morning? He's probably very busy. He's hard to predict, is Mason. He used to love it and then he's not, not so bothered these days. He can find something better to do, I think. Right. Yeah. Oh, Elsie, you're doing a fantastic job. And how are all the boys and girls doing at home? Are you managing to cut into lots of little strips? Well done. Take your time. You've got lots and lots of time. She's doing amazing. Lots of people saying, well done, Elsie. A pink heart for Elsie. Very well done. Good girl. We had to get some new scissors, didn't we? Because our scissors were not very sharp and we weren't you weren't able to do a lot of the things yourself, ah, did you? We've got some better, sharper scissors. It means you can do it all by yourself now. Proper scissors. You're doing really well. What great cut I think you've been practicing, haven't you, Elsie? Been practicing? What like? Oh, I see you got you've got Dexter and Felix watching Proud Cousins. They're your cousins, aren't they? How yeah, lovely. Well done. Are these the cousins we were making the video for the other day, are they? <laughs> they might have some more videos come in. Maybe. I'm doing very, very well. Well done. Yeah. Super. Oh, you've got lots of strips. Now then, if the boys and girls have got their strips ready, do you want to count and see how many strips you've got? you've got it really doesn't we've just cut all our paper into lots of lovely strips can you hold them so they can give them a wave can you give me a wave with your strips that's it it looks like a big hand doesn't it or a big okay. fan oh, like seven fingers <laughs> give me a nice big wave Ooh. Oh, well done. Oh, we've got someone who's done. Turn to it, that's it. Can you use it as a fan to cool yourself down on a hot, sunny day? Oh, how lovely. We might need that later. It's going to be a hot one today. 
well that she is doing so well isn't she thank you well done got lots of lovely comments so what we're going to do now on our strips we're going to take them one at a time i'm going to have a go with our pen at drawing a number so this is where grown-ups i'd like you to help your little ones to do some numbers that they know maybe some numbers that they might find a little bit more challenging so if you're working on numbers one to five, you, want, you might want to do one, two, three, four, five, and then six. So you're just going to take your pen and just draw one number at the top of your card like that. I've gone for number two. Now, it's totally up to you which numbers you want to do, but it might be nice for grown-ups to support to do the numbers we need. Do the numbers we know and do some numbers that might add a little bit of challenge as well. well and then keep going so that all your strips have got different numbers at the top. And have you got another little one there as well, Sam? Yes. Oh my yes. goodness. And, oh, you, God. and you're all up and dressed and wow, well done to oh, you. Like every day for playing hooray. We're not always dressed, are we? <laughs> we got three. Well done. Good girl. Two. You're doing so well. Wow. Someone's saying, do, do they have to be in sequence? Know the numbers. They can be random numbers, numbers that you've been practicing. Any um, numbers at all. You're doing number seven? This way, that way, that's seven, that's it. Well done. Lovely, so well done. And everyone is doing such... One, and a two, three, two, one, and a seven. And a six. You're going to jump out six, okay? Well done. I can see you're working oh, really mm -hmm. hard, Elsie. You're doing so well. What number do you have other number? What about four? Can you have a four? Sam, if I'm e ever un unwell or unable to make a life, I think I've got a replacement. <laughs> Five, well done. Good. I didn't even know you knew how to write all these numbers. If really? I'm honest. Well what done. About, uh, ten? Oh, I don't know, actually. Yeah, 10. Uh, ten's a lovely number, isn't it? I know we like 10 in our house, too. Someone was, someone is saying... I've got 10 on mine. I've got three on my house. Oh, You've got a number three on your house. That's really great. And I think you did a number three as well, didn't you? We've we did. got We've got lots of people saying, Elsie, you are a superstar. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> And someone is saying, this is brilliant, lovely idea, cheered us up in the morning. Oh, that's really nice to hear. I'm so pleased. Someone is saying... Oh, I don't know. We'll use the pencil. Find out in a minute. Somebody is saying, she's so clever, my three-year-old isn't interested in numbers yet. And that's absolutely fine. Please don't worry if yours <laughs> isn't ready for numbers. And someone else There's is saying... There's so many things that Elsie's not interested in, but I bet that other children can do, yeah. riding a bike... Not yeah. interested, riding a scooter, not interested, so many things yeah. that, that we're not there yet. There are, uh, so. that's it, as we all say, they all develop at that own at their own stage, don't they? So please don't ever worry, and as I always say, we don't compare. Try not to compare, because it just doesn't help. Right, okay, so now that you've got your strips all ready, and they've, they've all got numbers on, I'd like you to choose one of your numbers, or your strips, What's Elsie going to choose? Yeah, what have you chosen, Elsie? Five. A lovely number five. So I'm going to copy you and I'm going to go the same as Elsie. I'm going to have a number five as well. And I wonder, Elsie, can you stick or clip on five pegs onto your piece of paper? Yeah. Can you have a go? So this is really great because I love using pegs. They're a nice resource to use for counting. You could obviously do this with hole punches. You could do this with stickers and sticking on the right number. And it's a really great way of helping your little ones to associate the value of a number with the digit that they see. 
Okay, so we're practicing our one-to-one -one counting, and that's what's nice about pegs. It makes us take our time and do it one at a time. One, two, three, and obviously you can do it in lots of different ways. So we are pegging up. Wow, Elsie, you're so fast. I've not even started. I was too busy talking. I can see you. One, two, three, four, five. Good girl. Five. Oh. <laughs> Elsie, I'm going to give you a great big thumbs up for that. I really love your counting. Good girl. Elsie, do you think you could challenge yourself and do another strip? Yeah. You could. I'd love to see it. I'm going to finish mine because you, you've beaten me. So, as you can see... We are One. popping our pegs on. Two. So it's really good as you can hear. Elsie is doing her one-to-one -one counting, which is all good practice. And it's getting used to seeing that that number makes five. Now, if you have big boys and girls you want to practice number value with, it's a really nice one to do to show them that they can make five in lots of different ways so that you can have three and a two. You can do it with number bonds and have ten and then placing 10 pegs in lots of different ways so they can see that three and two still make five and no matter how we put our numbers or the items that it always makes five so can you see you've got four and one what have you got now Elsie? two, three, four, five, six wow six. we done Six pegs. Good girl. Oh, Elsie, I think you're doing fantastic. I'm going to give you a big, big clap. I think you've done so well this morning. Woo! Yeah! You should wave it around. You've done fantastic. Good girl. I'm so proud of you. And I'm sure your mum is very proud. Yeah, very proud. Very proud. Absolutely. Oh. Fantastic. Okay, I'm... <laughs> Are you carrying on now? Well, I'm going to leave you to it. I'm going to let you play with your mummy without me. We've got some more. Spot. Get some You've more. still got some more pegs. Sometimes what you can do is you can take them off to stick them on another on another strip if you need them, can't you? That's what's nice about pegs is that they, we don't stick them down. So, Elsie and Sam, can I say a huge thank you for joining me this morning? Thank you. Yeah, thank you to you. It's been oh, really yeah, fun, hasn't it? We could make some more strips with this card, couldn't we? Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like you've got a busy day ahead. And Elsie, you could always try it with something else. You don't have to do pegs. You could draw on little things or stickers or holes. There's all sorts of things. Stickers. Yeah. That's yeah. Good idea, oh, fun. Oh, you've got a piece of card, yeah. Good girl, you've done so well. Well, Elsie, lots of people are sending lots of hearts and saying amazing and well done. And I'm so thankful. And thank you very much again for that lovely video last week. So I'm going to say bye now. So thank you, Sam. I really do appreciate it. And I'm going to say <laughs> bye. I'm going to say bye to all the boys and girls because I want you to carry on playing without me now. And then send me your photos of you guys doing your counting strips. All right. Have a lovely weekend, everybody. Have a nice weekend. Happy playing. Bye. 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 Thank you.